Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be doing a different type of a video. Today I am talking all about brown Chrome XL. And I got these boots and shoe out here, hopefully in the best possible lighting, so that I could talk about them and, and showcase the different variations that we have going on here. Let me start by saying Chrome XL was my first introduction to the indie boot. It was this boot right here. It was my first, my first real life, real man boot. Fell in love with it, and that's the boot that essentially got me started in my boot collecting journey. As you can see here, we have the Innsbruck Indie Boot. This is from a shop called Epaule. They did a special makeup with the gold eyelets as opposed to the regular brown eyelets. As you can see here, there is a pretty stark contrast between the two different Chrome XLs. These are both brown, but as you can see, the Innsbruck Indies is a lot more of a red, I would say compared to the traditional Alden 403 Indies. But it just goes to show that from batch to batch, Chrome Excel can vary quite a bit. Um, here we have Viberg boots, Viberg service boots in brown Chrome Excel in the 2030 last. Here we have, to the right of those, we have the Grant Stone diesel boot in brown Chrome Excel. And then here we have the Thoroughgood roofer boot in brown Chrome Excel. This is one of the first boot styles that I've ever loved, so I'm happy to finally have a pair like that. And then these are my Alden plain toe bluchers in brown Chrome XL. This special little thing right here is a uh, custom bag that I had I, I had built out of brown Chrome XL, and this is called Essex Leather, also a type of Chrome XL from the Horween Tannery. I don't know if it's necessarily a Chrome XL, but it is in the same tannage class. I just wanted to get out, out here in the in the outdoor lighting to kind of show the differences in the browns because Chrome XL is one of the most popular leathers out there and I know that I've been fascinated by it over the years. This is just sort of an informal video to sort of go over the variations from batch to batch. When I did start boot collecting I was going into the Alden of DC shop a lot and the lady there told me that it's the same thing with calfskin. Apparently calfskin also from batch to batch can range wildly. Ultimately, it just comes down to the animal's hide that they dye. And, you know, since these are handmade, there's gonna be variations from batch to batch. Now, Chrome Excel is known as an aniline or a pull-up leather. The reason why is because when you squeeze it, it lightens up. And then when you let it go, it darkens back up again. It's because of all the waxes and oils in it, in the hide actually make it so that it's all almost itself repairing so like if you scratch it you don't even have to do anything it'll repair itself over time that it just the the oils sort of replenish themselves in the air in the areas that it's lacking in the contrast between these two indies is pretty is pretty apparent check out these indie boots the differences in these indie boots all right so here we've got yeah and this pair obviously has been worn a lot longer i got this pair about two years prior to getting this pair so this pair here is a lot more new. This is also a beloved leather because of the character that it takes on over time. It really breaks in nicely. When I started my boot collecting journey, I was just fascinated. I was trying to find pictures of old indie boots. There aren't too many out there. So I said, why don't I do it as a self-experiment? Doesn't sound like too bad of a plan. All right, here's the Grant Stone diesel boots up against the Viberg service boot. Viberg service boots are pretty old, but you can see here the Viberg service boots are a bit lighter than the Grant Stone diesel boots and probably a bit more beat up. Both are pretty scratched up, which is what we want. I'm doing my best to sort of show the differences between the boots. Again, this is all the same exact material from Horween. The roofer boot. These are breaking in pretty wild too. Yeah, I love these. Alden plain toe blucher. You don't get much more of a perfect shoe than that. I'd say that these are pretty comparable, these shades of Chrome XL. All right, so anyways, that's gonna about finish it up. I didn't, like I said, this I, did, I wasn't setting out to make a really complex video or anything. I really just wanted to give an idea of what the variations of Chrome XL could look like because when we're dealing with different leathers, even within the same tannage class and the same color and the same type of leather, you can get a lot of variations. And I was, I hope I was able to highlight that. Again, Chrome XL has been one of my favorite leathers. I just think it's really interesting to sort of compare the different brands that use it and to see just how it looks in each different makeup each different particular boot will have uh, characteristics that are unique to it, such as 
these little ripples here, I'm not, I'm not an expert, but I was told that these little ripples are called loose grain. Apparently, some people don't like that. I don't know why, but that's called loose grain, all these little ripples in here. Whereas when you look at the Vibergs, these Vibergs don't have that, but my Color 8 Chrome XL Vibergs do. So there's no loose grain on this. In one of my previous videos, I think I came to the conclusion that these little these splotches here are raw indigo crocking. Some of the different pairs have that. I think there might be a little bit of that right here on the Innsbruck Indy. It's got some interesting beat up lines back there. Good little scuff right there. These grant stones are looking pretty good. I get I get the same scuff right there. I must be doing something that scuffs my boots in the same spot every time for some reason. These thorough goods here. Well, these thorough goods are pretty new, so. They're not going to be super broken in just yet, but still pretty good. These were actually Alden factory seconds because the left shoe had sort of a dimple on the front of it. But I mean, you don't get much more of a perfect shoe than this. I mean, great leather, plain toe, doesn't get much more versatile than that. Again, I hope you guys found this interesting. You can follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting pictures of all this stuff as I continue to use it. My username is LV. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.